I'm Lamar Woodley, former Steller and Super Bowl champ. And I'm here to combine my two favorite things, football and cars. And I'm James Torres, master car builder and owner of Demented Custom, where we turn ordinary cars into works of art. I'm a former police officer, but my passion for cars drove me to open a shop with my three sons. Oh. And working with family is a job all in itself. Ah! A few years back, Michael Strahan took a chance on me, allowing me the opportunity to restore his 68 GTO, and things haven't been the same since. Stray hooked me up with James, and together we teamed up with NFL teams and current players to create the ultimate thank you for deserving fans that give back to their community. Oh, damn. These fans are in for the surprise of their lives when we turn their ordinary ride into the ultimate fan car. It's all love right there, man. This is Tackle My Ride. We're here today in beautiful New Orleans. Great city, great food, great music, great fan base. Crazy fan base. But right now, we're going to visit John Jenkins to find out who that fan is to get his ride tackled. Who that fan is to get his ride tackled. You get it? Who that fan is to get his ride tackled. I got it. Who that? I was just who wishing that? I'd come up with that one. This is like my third time here. Last game I played down here was crazy. It was Halloween night in 2010. Man, I remember when they had the marching band playing. Stadium was rocking, it had me fired up. It was overall a great experience. I don't know about you, Wood, but I'm excited to meet John Jenkins. A 359 pounds, 6'3", defensive tackle. And what a lot of people don't know about John is he's a huge car guy. And what's crazy is every year, the man hosts his own car show. So you know he got some sick rides. And we gonna get a chance to check out a couple of them when we meet up with him today. Well, Wood, it looks like we're here. There's John right there. What kind of car is yeah. that? How does steering wheel get on the other side of the car? John, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, big guy? Uh, nothing much, man. How you doing, bro? I'm all right. Wood's trying to figure out why the <laughs> steering wheel is on the right. Well, this is a very unique car. It's called the uh, Nissan Skyline. It's straight from Japan. This car is actually illegal in the United States without permission from the government. So you've put all the work in it after you yes. got it? Yes. I'm a big car enthusiast, so this car, man, I visualized how I want it done, and we did the motor, 2.8 Tomei Stroker, racing OS Gaikin triple plate clutch. Went from a twin turbo to a bigger single 64, 66 precision. I don't know what the hell you just said, <laughs> but it sounds like it's pretty damn fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of love. <laughs> That's all you got. A lot of love. Yeah. But these streets in New Orleans, man, are so low, so it's hard to drive this car. So if you step behind you, this is my baby right here. What the? Yeah. Man. And got the 40 inch tires, got the uh, Fox competition shocks, got the Skyjacker lift. I mean, John, the way you displaying that, man, you, you trying to sell us the car or what? <laughs> I love my cars, bro. Don't get me wrong, I love my cars. But I just really called y'all down to uh, talk about a good buddy I know, man. Donald Silencio, he's the game time saint, man. He's a great guy. Anything throughout this city, whether it's anything to do with saints or trying to help somebody, this guy right here, he's second on, he's there. You'll see him, big shoulder pads, you know. He's always at our game supporting us. He go to children's hospitals and his super fan gear to cheer sick children up. He's always doing charity events. I met him at a charity event, actually. He recently started his own charitable program where taking kids with illness and disability to Saints games and giving them the ultimate experience. This guy has a heart of gold, man, a heart of black and gold. I'm excited to tackle his ride because he sounds like a really unselfish person. Yes. I feel like he's very deserving of this opportunity. What kind of vehicle are we working with? Fellas, I've been holding this, man. I've been wanting y'all to see this, man. Look, look Let's at see this, what we're working man. with. All right, so the 66 Mustang. It's got a lot of potential. Yeah. It's a nice car from a distance. But when you get up close, it's like, uh oh, it's not there. It's just, <laughs> right. In a car like this, man, you need a lot of TLC, yeah. man. Hey, James. <laughs> hey, this could be something great, brother. I'm telling you. Me and my kids will make sure it happens. All right, I'm pretty sure my guy going to be excited, man. And I'm going to give you the address, make sure everything is taken care of. Dude. All right, we out, we out, right, we out, we out. We got we to gotta go. Come on, we'll... All right, All right brother. Take it easy, man. Hey. You're trying to get lost. All right, James. Come on. <laughs> I can't wait to meet this guy in person. And this guy really gets in the character. He dressed up in a full saint uniform, full pads, and with war paint on, looking like he about to go out there and go to war. This guy is 
a fan on a whole nother level. I'm still over here thinking about if you got to go to the bathroom with all that on. Can you imagine? No way. Here, Wood. Let's go do this. Whew. We need to get one for you. Before we leave, we're going to get you one. Donald, how you doing, man? man. How you doing, man? Lamar Woodley. Hey, man. How you, how doing? you doing? This is James right here. Hey, James how you doing? We here to uh, tackle your ride. Man, that's awesome, man. Hey. John Jenkins told us a lot about you and the work that you're doing in the community. Yeah, that's, man, it's, it's a lot, man. I, I, man, I'm so happy right now. Me and my other fans, you know, we always talk about Saints players. And to know that they actually talk about the fans, that was actually a big surprise. They recognize all the great things you've been doing. Things you do in the community, helping out others, giving them opportunities, man. What made you do the whole dressing up as a game time saint to go do the charity event? Like well, when I was going to the games, I started recognizing that kids love being around us. So I think it started off with like a blood drop. I had a couple people ask me, hey, won't you come along? And they go have kids there. You can take pictures with people. And then people just started reaching out to us, say, hey, we'd love to have you there. And a lot of these kids don't get out. They don't go to the games. So me bringing some of the New Orleans things to them means the world to them. With all the stuff that you've done already so far, we heard you're starting a new charity on your own. What I'm trying to do is give an experience to a kid that's going through a tough time. They get the experience today as a super fan. So what we're going to do is give them their own persona. Then at the Superdome, we got a nice tailgate set up for them with a marching band and everything. So we're going to give them the works. And it's going to be more than just going to a game. It's going to be a once in a lifetime experience. All the charity work I do, I do it because I love to do it. It's an honor that John Jenkins been recognized me for this. It just makes me want to work even harder. This is our way of giving back to you, you know? So let's go look at the ride we got to tackle. Let's go check it out. Come on. What we have here is a 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe. I've had it for about a year, year and a half, but I just ain't had the time to, to completely restore it. Give me a rundown of a few things I'm looking at when I get into this thing. There's definitely something wrong with the suspension. Okay. When I took it out on the interstate one time, it scared me because it started shaking and everything, so I slowed it down. None of the gauges work in it. The paint looks okay, but what they did was is they painted over a bad body job. You got to get rid of that Raiders. You know, I think Raider Nation appreciates you, but, you know, Saints territory, I don't know if that's going to slide. This damn car's black and silver. I mean, maybe before he became a Saints fan, he was a Raiders fan. Let's open it up. Let's look at the inside. This really needs a lot of help. The seats are torn apart. The trunk needs work. Get in there, Wood. Get in there, man. This ain't the mafia back in the day. I'm not getting in no trunk. <laughs> you get in there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I can see some issues with the bodywork. The suspension needs some work done to it. Now, I got to get this thing on a trailer and back to Hobbs. He's already experienced mechanical issues, so I don't know what we're going to run into. We may be biting off more than we can chew. Ain't you a master car builder? This thing is starting to make me nervous. It's making some weird noises. I'm a bit concerned if this is even going to make it to the trailer. Whoa. We just had a blowout. We had a blowout. I knew that we weren't going to make it to the trailer. Man. Oh. Man, look at that. I'm fixing to push this car back to Hobbs. So we're about to go over the game plan for this vehicle that my dad's bringing. Apparently, he already has a tire blown out. So we don't know what we're getting into. Wow, Dad. That's the straightest I've seen you pull oh. a car in. So here we have a Mustang. Mustang. 1966 monster right here, American horsepower. This belongs to Donald Silicio. He's been wanting to fix this up. He hasn't had time to fix it up. It's got a lot of issues. Fatty, you'll be on this first, get it all torn down, and then that way CJ can get on the bodywork. This thing doesn't look that bad. Just wait, because once we get under all that paint, it's going to be a whole new nightmare. It's work. My main job tearing apart a car is to find out what's good, what's not good, and what's not there. You don't find out what's missing on a vehicle until you start getting into it. So my job 
It's kind of a big deal. Racy. Ow. Bitch, my pet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look like it needed much to be done, but now that it's all torn apart, there's a lot that needs to be fixed and rebuilt. When you're doing a restoration on a classic car, bodywork has got to be the most important part. Perfect. This car, once Fatty tore it down, like, we really started to notice a lot of things. We're gonna end up replacing the engine. We're gonna replace the transmission. Man, the only thing we're gonna leave on this thing that's from the original car, probably the air cleaner and the gas cap. Aside from that, this thing's gonna be all brand new. We have to get the motor out. So that way, when the suspension shows up, we can go ahead and throw it all in with no issues. That's right. We got everything unbolted, finally. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing chained up and yank it out of here. So I've got a really trick paint job that I'm gonna do on this thing. Some graphics on the hood and the trunk. It's gonna be different than all the other ones that I've done. First off, we gotta put down some of this Zenith gold. This is what the Saints like, gold. This car is gonna be so freaking dope. <laughs> Biggest challenge with this car is going to get this thing to drive safely. This is really, really crucial, and you know, I always hand this off to JR. So JR really has to be on his A game. J, the tire rubs in the back. So I'm getting the back rims on this Mustang, and I can't seem to figure out why it's not fitting. I have no clearance, it's rubbing. Honestly, I have a feeling JR messed something up with the suspension. Look, I can't get my hand between here, right here. Maybe the front rim, it has so much room in the back because it goes to the back. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is? Yeah. That's all. All right. Whew. All right, well, maybe it was my fault. But I like to think I'm just keeping JR on his toes. Crisis averted, so now we're back on track, and I can stab this motor in finally. The main focus on these builds is to get them running and dependable. So we're going to go ahead and put a new long block in it. Watch your fingers, little guy. You in? Oh, there it goes. I got it. Man, business. What up, John? Man, nothing much, man. How's it going? How's the car coming along? Dude, like, you couldn't have found me anything a little bit easier to work on, because, and this thing is is all beat up. Hey, hey, I just knew the right guy was going to get it done. I saw that map. Nah, we, we got you, dude. We probably could just do this simple, but there ain't no fun in that. We're going to have this running with your skyline. We're going to have to go out for a race or something. <laughs> you know, we got this covered. All right, man, I appreciate it. Have a blessed one. All right, later. We ordered an exhaust kit for this car. And I don't know if maybe because of our header combination or suspension and brackets, for some odd reason, it's not lining up like it needs to. But uh, we've got a chop saw, we've got a welder, and Jared just got to do a little figuring out He'll make it work. It ain't custom till you cut some. It's never easy for JR. Even if we buy the bolt on stuff. Ow! It looks like it's gonna work pretty good. Now that JR's got the mechanical stuff done, it's time to hear how this thing sounds. But I'm gonna call Lamar and let him listen to it. That way he can act like he has something to do with it. Hey, we fixed and turn this Mustang on. You want to hear it? Yeah, let me hear what it sounds like. Go ahead. Oh, what yeah. you think? It sounds good, man. That's American horsepower. Sounds like you got a piece underneath the hood. I might take that car for a test drive. All right. I'll see you when we get to New Orleans. All right, man. Bye-bye. We finally got this thing all buttoned up. I'm really stoked the way this thing came out. It's got that real clean, subtle look. We've got this paint on point. And we ended up putting three Florida leaves in the trunk. I couldn't be more happy with it. Only thing left for us to do with this thing now is put it on a trailer and get this sucker headed back to Dock. We're 
We're back here in New Orleans today with me with Donald. And what he don't know is we're gonna surprise him by bringing his ride here. He thinks James is in uh, New Mexico, but really James is gonna pull up and shock him. Wood's got a little surprise for him as well. He's got a couple of his friends coming down. All right, what's up, Cam? It's Haddon, baby. We got John Jenkins, and we got Cam Georgia. Deep Pennsylvania from the Saints. Just to help out, just to make the surprise that much extra. Oh. Hey, I might have to buy it from this guy, you feel me? <laughs> oh, OK. Whew. Let's go meet up with the fellas, man. Come bless this man. Let him know he's getting this sensational piece. This is going to be one hell of a surprise. Got a little update on the Mustang. It need a little bit more work. But uh, they work hard to get it done. And I got some people I brought out here for you. John Jenkins. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, big guy? Hey, How's man? everything, man? What's up, gang? What's up, brother? How you, How you doing, doing, man? man? Cool, look cool. Oh, man. So how you feeling, man? You good? I'm excited now, man, <laughs> seeing y'all two here. <laughs> my heart's, like, jumping out, man. Oh, man. All of a sudden, to my right, I got Cam Jordan. To my left, I got John Jenkins. I'm like, man, this is, like, half of the defensive line of the Saints here. Come on, well, man, we... you got to feel this energy. Come on, man, right. walk, walk with us, man. All right. I hey, got the Saints. I'm rolling with the Saints today. I can't wait to drive the car out and see his reaction firsthand. And all of a sudden, I hear the band playing. And as we walk towards it, I'm like, what's all this commotion about? And then I look. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You recognize that? Come on, baby. Oh, man. Come on, Come man. On, man. Oh, look at that. Look at that, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I was thinking to myself, well, is, is that the car? It's got to be my car. But when I gave it to James, it was black and silver. It wasn't a Saints car. But it's like a who that car now. He going to cry when he drive off. Oh, <laughs> man, 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 man. Oh, man. My man. I'm, I mean, my kids, man, my kids. <laughs> my kids did all the work on this one. Man, I love you, man. That's awesome, dude. First and foremost, we address the paint. In the sun, this thing really sparkles like crazy. You didn't have any gauges last time, so we put you some digital gauges in there. Boy, Florida Lee happy back yeah, then. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I, I like Lee that, happy. though, man. Got to have the Florida Lees. At least you know with these brakes, you're going to stop when you're moving. <laughs> yeah, I know. We also have a brand new engine from Advanced Auto Parts. We got a 289 to go back in it, so you have zero miles on it. Oh, yeah. OK. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit Let more it burn a little bit, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet, man. <laughs> Woo, boy. It's all love right there, man. So this is like only scratching the surface on all the blessings that you'll be receiving later on in life, man. man you know what I mean? To have an NFL player recognize just a fan like myself is, is, is an honor. Thank you, man. Appreciate oh, man. the love you've been doing for this community, man. Seeing you, John. It's all love seeing you again, bro. Right, Keep man. doing your thing, bro. It feels good to have been able to do this for him. I don't know what to tell you about this thing, bro. This thing's <laughs> sweet. If you don't want it, like, you can always yeah. park it in my yeah. garage. All right. All right. He's the kind of person that would sacrifice all of his stuff. He wouldn't have spent the money that we put into this car. He wouldn't have spent that on himself. This is awesome, man. This car is the ultimate Who That Nation vehicle. Oh, yeah. The way it came out is just everything I ever wanted. This car was black and silver before, but now it's gold, and this is our golden ticket to the Super Bowl.